Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here in the First Warren Storm Center. What a crazy day we had across the Carolinas. I mean, it felt like it was March, not even April, not even May, and certainly not June. So let me talk about some of the crazy stats from today and why we had this crazy cool day. Let's start first with the temperatures. I'm recording this uh, right around 930. It's 59 degrees. Here's the crazy thing about 59 degrees. Our average uh, low temperature is in the mid 60s. Our record low is 52. Okay, <laughs> we're closer to a record here. And this is even in the middle of the day. It was like this. It was just crazy to see this happen today. Uh, we did break a record and it's one of those cool records I love talking about. It was a record low max. So essentially the coldest high temperature for this date. Now this is for June 16th. The coldest high temperature we've ever had, uh, which goes back to 1878, it's since records began, um, not ever, because obviously we don't have records before 17 or 1878, 62 was the record back in 1965. So just a crazy step. But to me, this is the more stunning thing. Uh, summer days, and now summer meteorologically begins on June 1st. I'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, the last time we had a summer day, even in the 60s, below 70, was back in 2015. And this is by far the coldest uh, summer day since it was 59 degrees back in 1967. It's the sixth coldest summer day all time. Just stunning stats. And when you see what's going on here in the southeast, you see the center of cold air centered right over the Carolinas. This was due to cold air damming in an upper low. Um, we were 25 degrees below average for our average high. Now, a lot of folks on my Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, Brad, but it's still spring. Not actually. Here's the funny thing about seasons, and I talk about this often. In weather and climate, we use meteorological seasons. The calendar that you see where the summer solstice, the equinox, that's an astronomical start to a season. That's what astronomers use. Forever, since records have been kept for weather and climate, we have always kept seasons based on full calendar months. And why is that important? Well, the summer solstice is at, at like 523 Eastern time. Think about keeping climate stats uh, for that day. If the high temperature happens before 523, that's a spring temperature. If it happens after, it's a summer temperature. Um, some parts of the world, summer would start on the 20th and the 21st. Could you imagine the mix match of data? So to keep everything consistent and to keep it more uh, uniform to when the temperatures actually change, we keep seasonal and climate, climate data based on full month or meteorological seasons. We've always kept it this way. This is the way records have always been kept. So whenever you hear warmest, coldest, wettest, snowiest season, it's always based on the three full months of the calendar. It's great that your calendar has those astronomical dates, but those are for astronomers, not for meteorologists and climatologists. So just to explain that further. Now, even with this cool down, we're still above average for June, but this is the stunning part to me. Uh, we were at one point almost 5.1 degrees above average. So the cool temperatures today and yesterday and tomorrow are already lowering uh, the temperatures here. So we're 1.6 degrees above average for the month and 3.5 for the year. So a lot of folks will say, oh my gosh, it's cool. It's been such a cool year, a cool pattern. It's really just been a short-term pattern. The year overall is still very, very warm. Tonight, we've had some some scattered whoops I'm pop that back up we've had some scattered showers out there tonight but they're kind of breaking up right now there's just drizzle and mist across most of the Carolinas the reason we've been so cold is this upper low and surface low have combined to do a couple of things we've had northeast winds wedge up against the mountains which is cooler dense air there's been moisture riding up and over it falling in cooling it and then we've had an upper level low which is actually keeping the temperatures quite cool as well because the freezing level today was at like eight to ten thousand feet that's incredibly low for the summer and when you get precipitation it drags some of that cold air down to the surface look at this cool chart i mean this is a water vapor loop you can see that upper low sitting right over us and on the upper level chart you see it there as well look at that thing just sitting over the southeast it's a cutoff low because the jet stream is actually way up here so this is cut off from the flow it's not moving. It needs to get back up to this current to move. So if you think about the jet stream, it's like the main current of a river. And what happens is sometimes, just like in a creek or stream, if you've ever been near one in, in the summer, what's a better place to be than near a creek or stream? Sometimes you get rocks, you know, you get these boulders, right? And behind the boulders, you get little whirlpools, right? Because the water's flowing around it and it's going here. Well, nothing in there moves. You might, if you put a boat or a cork or a leaf in there, it might just sit there and spin around in circles for days until eventually it gets kicked out into the main current. That's what happens with these cutoff lows. They get cut off from the flow and they get stuck. 
in this blocking pattern. So this thing is going to sit there through tomorrow, through Thursday. It starts to lift north by Friday and by the weekend. Guess what? We're going to see much warmer temperatures. In fact, for Father's Day, this flow right here um, with the trough to our west is actually kind of more indicative of a little bit of a, of a mini heat wave, not a big one, but southwesterly flow here. That usually spells upper 80s to near 90 degrees. So I would expect much warmer temperatures by the upcoming weekend. So tonight at 11, I'll talk more about the warming trend, but we've got one more day of really cool temperatures. If we break 70 tomorrow, we'll probably be lucky. And that's if we get some sunshine. I think we'll see some thinning of the clouds and less rain. So that should allow for temperatures to warm up. Of course, I'll talk more about that tonight at 11 and post everything online. In case you missed the news, you can see the 10-day the forecast, which I'll post tonight after 11 o'clock news. Hope you're having a great day. You stayed warm. I actually had to bust out the jacket today. Um, trust me, we'll be back near 90. It will feel like summer before you know it.